again YouTube. Um, back to the forge again today. Uh, now this, as you probably remember, is the um, how far we got with the the Viking style knife. Um, I've just started to flatten it out a little bit before I started filming actually. Um, so that's why it's still hot. Um, but what I'm going to do is flatten this out a little bit more around this area. Uh, cut off the excess at the end there and then uh, start rounding it over so because that will be as we discussed before the uh, the finger guard at the front there and uh, eventually that will get bent around so it comes under here and then curves around there so uh, I need to tidy up the, uh, the blade a little bit as well but um, get in there uh, so next what I got I think I might cut the uh, cut the excess off before I do any more work to the end there. So uh, I'll use the uh, what's the um, like a cold chisel, but it's a more of a hot chisel that one because it's a uh, steeper grind on it. Um, GCR it says on that one. I've got that second hand, so I'm not sure where that is. Great, Great Central Railway maybe. I don't know. Um, But yeah, uh, I've also been asked by one of my viewers if I could um, get some footage of the the forge while it's working. So I've wound the camera up a bit. Uh, there's the forge there. So uh, try and set this up and uh, get some uh, footage of that as well while it's working away. Nightmare trying to do this while I'm uh, on the opposite side of the camera. For some reason, it's nothing pretty to look at, as you can probably tell. <laughs> but uh, it does the job, so fire that up.
tidy this up a little bit um, but it's pretty much how I need it at the moment um, as I say I'm going to uh, curve this round and do the other bits um, but what I'm going to do is before I do all that is tidy up the uh, the radius at the back end there and then uh, t maybe tidy up the sides, sides a little bit on the belt grinder because I wanted to try and get a, a semi sort of polished finish on it when it's done um, clean it up with the rest of it up with the, uh, the wire brush or flat disc whichever and uh, then join you uh, once I've done all that for the uh, the forming of it and then it's back onto the grinder for the uh, just putting the final edge on it now this is um, I've ground this down a little bit now I'll run it over the uh, belt grinder just to uh, tidy up most of it so there's still a few little bits of um, hammer marks in it in various places uh, these ones will get ground out when I sharpen it so they're not too not too worried about those the little ones inside there will get covered by the uh, the finger guard and the rest I can smooth off when I hand polish it afterwards um, now what we've got to do is uh, bend the back part first heat that up and bend that the part that's going to be in the finger guard there uh, and then once that's done I can bend the, the centre part to make the rest of the, the main tang or handle whichever you want to call it um, obviously the, the finger guard to get into that groove has to be bent the opposite way of the blade so that when it's round it will form it and uh, to form that what I've done or what I've got is this here which is my leg vice and I've clamped a steel bar in there and this has got two different size bars basically a, a steel a sharpened steel spike which has got a bit of a tube round basically a tight fitting tube and uh, this tube is about the same size as the, uh, the curve inside the finger guard there so I'm not sure if we can uh, let's have a look see if we can zoom in a little bit more there we go and uh, that's about the right sort of fit for that so that's what we're going to use as a former for the uh, for the finger guard on that end and um, it's a good time to think about how back out again how much of a a curve you'll need so it'll be probably three quarters of a, a curve all the way around from there to there three quarters of this this dot sort of radius if you like so it comes up and back around so we're going to have to curve this pretty much right around there to about there somewhere I'd say uh, it's not too important because when you when you fold bend the handle there or bend the tang to fold make the sort of curve there when it bends back round you can tidy up that end a little bit but it's it's easier to get as much of it done as you can before it's right up in that curve so I'm going to fire up the forge and uh, gently tap this round and uh, form the finger guard there so I'll uh, I'll get this heated up and uh, I'll leave the camera pointing at that
It's uh, hardened now, so uh, I'll wipe all the excess oil off of it once it's cooled down a little bit more, and then uh, get it in the tempering oven. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably tack a picture onto the end of either this video or the next video of uh, of the finished thing. So I don't want to. I'm not going to show you all the grinding processes or anything because you've seen that all in the in the other videos I've done. So uh, yeah. Mm -hmm.